Hi, this is Yamima. Welcome to this video tutorial. This video is going to focus on how to create a YouTube custom thumbnail using Canva. In this video, you're going to learn what size is best for your graphics, how I play with icons, frames, fonts. You will also see how I add social media icons that I downloaded from the internet and how I'm able to upload them and add them into my graphic. Let's get started. Okay, first we're going to start by selecting the presentation 16 by 9 ratio. This is the best size for a video. Once inside, I also recommend you take some time and play around each tab, the layouts, the text, the background. There's a lot of things that are possible within Canva that are able to make your graphic designing a lot simple. Um, here I'm actually going to look for a photo frame that I'm going to add to my graphic. In the beginning, I normally take some time to play around. I'll add some stuff, take some stuff, try new things. So right now, I'm pretty much just going to be playing around with this photo frame. I'll add a few, couple of pictures, um, a few pictures that kind of go with the style, the vibe, the, the mood that I want the graphic to be. I also play around the filters that Canva provides. You can actually edit the color for each individual image. Another fun thing I like to do is look at the layouts Canva already has in place and I look at the detail that they have. Sometimes the smallest details make a difference. Here I'm going to add a new page and remove everything I don't want from Canva's template and keep only the things that I feel will work with my graphic. Here I'm going to change the color because when I delete the background I don't want my text to disappear. Now I'm going to grab the text and bring it up into my graphic. In this part, I'm going to just play around with the text, the color, the size. This would be the title of the vlog. I'm also going to change the color. Another tip I do want to give you right now is keep in mind this is going to be your thumbnail for your YouTube video, which means when someone sees your video, it's going to see a smaller version of the thumbnail. So you want to keep your font big enough to where they can still read the title of that video. And I actually do not keep that in mind in this tutorial, so I had to go back into Canva and make it bigger. So in this part, I decide I want to add a small typographic into my image. And I do this through PicMonkey. I show you a little bit of how I'm doing it and how I crop it to where it's just the font and then upload it into Canva to add it to my image in Canva. Part, I'm actually going into icondoc.com and downloading the social media icons that I want to use in the graphic. It's pretty simple. You download the pack. This one's a free sample that they offer and then just select the icons that you want and you upload them into Canva. I'm going to also change the size because they are a bit small so I'm going to add them into the graphic and then slowly uh, select them all and stretch them out and they'll the font the size will change. Canva also offers icons for social media. You can always test those out and see if you like them. So here I'm done with the title. I'm done with the small typographic that I added. I've done the social media icons that I wanted to add. I'm also going to add follow me and where they can find me. This is pretty much all I'm going to add to it. So once you've completed your final edit, the final step would be to save your graphic. I usually download the PNG file. So this is where I actually go back and edit the text again because after I uploaded the graphic, I realized that the graphic was too small. And this is the easiest way to edit your graphic. You just select everything and adjust to your liking. 